baptism. So if equity is discrimination, then I assume justice uh, under that view is inequality. Senator Rubio. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Ambassador Abercrombie Wentz Stanley. Um, the President's executive order, I think it's 13985, it provides a, a list of underserved communities and it mandates that executive agencies seek to promote equitable, fair and impartial outcomes for those communities. And, and I, I too believe not only is diversity our strength as a country, um, but um, if in fact our workforce does not reflect our population, then it merits a inquiry into what are the impediments? Are there any artificial impediments that are leading to that outcome? And in, in the list of, um, of the underserved communities are, are groups that have historically faced discrimination in this country on the basis of their race, their religion, their gender. But it also includes a list of other groups. First generation college students, which, which I happen to be, people with limited English speaking ability, immigrants, the elderly, former convicts, people from rural areas, military spouses, single parents, all good groups. I'm just curious if we include all the people that have been discriminated against historically, plus all of these other groups, who is not an underserved community? Thank you for your question, Senator. Um, I can tell you that my office looks at this two ways. A, that our responsibility uh, is focused on those groups who have been historically underrepresented in the Department of State who are protected classes. And so that is a more narrow list of people, the first group that you mentioned. The reality is, as we work to remove barriers to those groups, we are in fact leveling the playing field for every group. We're focused on making merit-based decisions, so removing those artificial barriers. So when we do things like ensure that people can interview for the Department of State via a virtual uh, technique, while it might indeed help uh, groups that are in the center of the country or from families that can't afford a $1,000 plane ticket to fly to San Francisco or Washington, D.C., it's also going to touch on other groups of people who also have that problem. So in that way, we are able to hit that wide variety of no, I, I, and I, I understand, but I mean, when, when, when you add to the, when the, and I know you didn't write the executive order, but what I'm saying is that when underserved communities expands to includes, yeah. you know, all these other groups, which are all, I mean, there's nothing, I understand the struggles or the challenges of each of these groups individually. It just seems like we've really narrowed the pool of people who we don't, do not consider underserved to a very narrow category of people, which, which obviously begs the question, um, you know, what in, information, do we keep a list of, for example, the religious affiliations of all the employees? Um, do we keep we do. a list of everybody's ethnicity? Yeah. Uh, we collect limited information on uh, demographic information, and we have a number of employee organizations that group around many of these other characteristics that you've mentioned, uh, whether it be um, singles at state, working parents at state, uh, veterans, none of those are protected classes per se, but they do have issues that employees talk about, work with our HR, our global talent management to ensure that they have a, a level playing field and the ability to serve to the best of their ability when they're in the department. I, I guess my point is I don't know how we can possibly make these efforts to help these groups, broad array of, of individual groups that have been defined as underserved without collecting information about all of these topics. Are they the first to go to college in their family? What's their religion? What's their race? Mm. How, what do they speak English? Uh, yeah. Are they immigrants? I mean, that's the, 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 that's the point I'm trying to make. We're collecting a lot of information. My time is short. I did